you have a plan going in and you there's got to be some some just spontaneous stuff going on in there so i would love to hear about like what's that like where does where does it hit you what about moving in that space do you have any commentary on the level of the ad living or, or or spontaneous creation well there's there's something about the fact that it's such a small scale that actually allows us to adapt so much more than we would we would in a normal theater so in a theater there would be a pile of people that would be in the room with us helping us um, but you know if we want to change a light that involves someone you know getting the genie out getting up on top of it a bunch of people to like it's just like a whole teamwork and then in josh's apartment it's literally josh just like popping out for a second moving a light going back in um which allows us to adapt to um to like an ever-changing story um both in terms of the story that we're telling but also um adapting to sort of like current events and staying something that we always talk about is nowness and trying to make sure that that makes its way into the pieces as well you know, sticking with Katie Rose's idea of what happens when you go into a, like a, a normal rehearsal room or a theater, you know, there's a giant stage and it's like this vast empty space and you can do anything. And in some ways there's, there's almost like a paralysis of possibility in a space like that. And what's been so exciting about the closet is that actually the limits afford us a way to always move forward because I can only go so far. There are only in some ways so many choices to make, but each choice, you know, begets other choices and suddenly, you know, it's, it's exponentially infinite in terms of what we can do here. Um, and so that's actually been really helpful for us in terms of uh, improvisation and in terms of uh, just sort of spontaneously making. Uh, you know, we can sit down and and talk and try and, uh, you know, we just finished a rehearsal where, where, you know, we spent hours working through a script and trying to like pull teeth to come up with ideas. Uh, but it was the last 10 minutes where we just, you know, threw a bunch of things at the video and I got in there and suddenly everyone's cracking up and and we were really on fire. And so it, that's when the magic happens. So that's, that's really interesting because we often think, um, you know, in our line of work with innovation and hey we need broad thinking we don't want to constrain people by giving them guidelines or rules and what i'm hearing here is like i've got eight square cubic feet to work in and that has actually made it easier to come up with new stuff so let's let's throw some rules around things 